hey guys in this video we would be understanding about the lookup filters so i would not be going into the definition part we would be just understanding that what exactly uh, do this lookup filter means so uh, we would be visualizing the example so this is these are two custom objects that is object a and object b and in here there is a lookup relationship between the two so a is on the one side object and b is on the many side object so what does our lookup relationship do uh, we uh, from this b we can uh, access or we can relate this b to our a for example for a single object a uh, there can be many uh, instances of b like b1 b2 these all can be uh, related to your object a like uh, account and contacts one account can have many contacts so uh, similar is the uh, meaning in here so from here we get a lookup field from where we can access the a okay and now what does your lookup filter mean so basically lookup filter just filter out your uh, things based upon the criteria and what is that criteria that you define for your custom objects or any specific implementation that you are up to okay so we would be understanding this so i am into my object manager and i would be creating two simple objects and would be having a relationship among them and thereafter i would be uh, working upon the fields so object one would be my first object So just I am giving random uh, data in order to make you understand that what is uh, the difference. So I would be having a checkbox over here. So is active. Okay. And this is my object one. And from here I would be having my another object that would be object two. So. and click on save so now my i am having two objects object one and object two so i have i want to create a relationship like a and b so on an object two i want a lookup filter that is uh, related to object one okay and it is related to my um, object one and this is the child relationship name so that is okay uh, so see one too many relationship has been set up object one is your parent object two is your child okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to have a tabs for this these two uh, fields or objects so yeah create a tab for this select your object one define any tab style that you want so i would be working over this and now you can select that on which application do you want to show on this so i would be showing this on my student management system that i am having if you are not having this so you could either create uh, in your sales app or um, you could let it blank as well so yeah uh, now for my object two i would be having another one and next and uh, management system i click on save so now if i move over to student management system now i can see object one and object two so in the object one uh, i had added uh, is active field as well but it is not displaying in here why um, because uh, because i haven't added it into the page layout so either you can go uh, check uh, do from here uh, or else while uh, you can even make use of the classic approach that is the salesforce classic one 
so I would be doing from here only object one uh, page layouts and see is active is in here and I want to display this uh, right below here and uh, yeah this is the thing that I wanted to do similar uh, is with object 2 so going over to object 2 fields and relationship no it's in the page layout object 2 layout and see related to object when this was our field name and from here drag and drop uh, in here a quick save and now if you refresh this uh, object one so okay lightning sometimes takes a little bit of time okay it is taking a lot of time so I would be moving switching over to my classic so guys I have moved over to my classic and in here I am having my two objects that is my object 1 and object 2 these are my objects and I have opened them so if I do new so see I am having is active in here so lightning is a pretty slow and now I would be giving some name like is active is true guys what I am having is I am having two objectives two true and one objective is set to false now in here uh, I what I want is see uh, first of all uh, uh, I just I am uh, hovering over to this lookup and see what am I getting is exactly false is again are true two trues and one false but I want is I only want to see in my lookup the true ones I don't want uh, my false to have so I would be going into my fields and from uh, my fields uh, this you can set up from lightning as well so there is no hard and fast rule in there also you are going to go to your fields and relationships and from there uh, uh, this uh, lookup field that you have created uh, this one your custom field uh, you have to edit this field and uh, uh, what you are going to do is see in the show filter settings uh, this is a uh, same in both the cases so in, in this see current record is your object 2 and it is related to object 1 and from where is active uh, you have selected this is active field and you want that uh, this value should be true only this should not be false so it should be only true and what you want is do you want this to be required or it want it I want this to be optional so this is up to me enable this filter click on save so my object 2 is saved and now let me uh, run this and related to object 1 in my lookup guys see I am getting only true is active again true and only true I am not getting my false value so in this way we can hide our values and since I have uh, done the part as optional in there so I can see all results that is false as well but yeah if I want to have my criteria again so I can uh, reapply my criteria from here and in this way I can have a relationship uh, based upon my lookup filter criteria 
so i hope uh, from this video you understood that what is the basic purpose of the lookup filters and how we can apply our lookup filters according to the condition so there are uh, various uh, uh, scenarios where uh, where we have to think uh, not programmatically but we have to think just like from point and click uh, tools view so this helps you to save a lot of time as well as a lot of efforts by creating your custom code and it is just uh, you are to edit your local filter so i hope you understood this video and guys if you are having any doubts uh, related to uh, this video or any previous video that we have covered you can comment down below as well so i hope you understood this video Thanks for watching then.